If you read in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verses 10, it reads here, The young lion lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. You know, of all the animals in the wild, the lion, the young lion especially, not the old lion, is the strongest and the fastest and the dangerous animal. That's why he's called the king of the jungle. But no matter, in spite of his incredible abilities and strength, there are times that he will lack. There will be times that he will have no food. He will remain hungry. But the scripture here promises us, for those that seek the Lord shall never lack good things. Wow, what a promise. You know, it is such a beautiful promise for those who seek the Lord that we shall not lack any good thing. That means God will supply all that is needed for us. You know, every need, whether it's emotional, financially, physical, He will meet our need. He will nourish us. He will bless us. He will sustain us. He will keep us safe. That is what this verse promises us. And I believe we all want that good thing. You know, everything that we want may not be good, but God will make sure that He will give everything that is good for us. He will give us the good thing. Now, this scripture says that He will give us good thing. But let us look into this. For who is this blessing? It is for the ones who seek the Lord. Now, in the Hebrew, the word seek means bakash, which means to search or to consult. Is when something is missing, you look out for it. Now, just for an example, if your mobile is misplaced or lost, you know, right, right now in these days, the mobile is such an important gadget because everything is on the mobile. Now, if you misplace the mobile, you look out for it. You look, you leave everything that you're doing and you search for it and you will search till you find it. That is what exactly, that zeal is what God is talking about, is that we would search him, that we would chase him, and when we find him, that we would inquire of him. That every decision that we do, we would ask him, should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I give this? Should I not give this? That is what it talks about, is seeking God, where we would build a relationship with him, an intimate relationship with him. And when we do that, when we keep him the center of our life, when we put him first in our life, God will make sure that we will not lack any good thing. You know, I want to encourage all the viewers, if you are a seeker of God, if you are a chaser of God, if you keep him first place in your life, God promises that he will be faithful, that he will never forsake you, and he will provide every good thing in your life. Amen. God bless you.